Nine years. That's how long a Liberty Township teen will spend in prison for trying to kill his parents. 17 year old Mitchell Simon tied his parents' bedroom doors shut with a rope and then lit fires outside their rooms. Nine on your side's Butler and Warren County reporter Jay Warren is live for us in our Butler Warren newsroom with the story. Jay? Well, Carol Mitchell Simon faced up to 33 years in prison, 11 years each, for two counts of attempted murder and one count of aggravated arson. But Judge Craig Hedrick sentenced him to nine years and set them to run concurrently. For Mitchell Simon, his parents, and attorney Brad Kramer, today was about avoiding adult prison. For the first time since last October, we heard Simon himself talk about that night. I do want to say that I love him dearly, and I'm sorry for getting myself in this spot for doing what I did. His attorney described a nightmare scenario of sending a 17-year-old to prison. If he just goes straight to an adult prison, my fear is that six months from now, we're reading about him in the paper because he didn't make it out. It was October 23rd when Simon tried to kill his parents, tying their rooms together with a rope and setting fire outside their doors. His father, Perry Simon, worries what prison will do to him. I feel that sending him to jail would definitely not be to his benefit. He'd end up creating a criminal, probably creating a dead person. Be violated, whatever else can go bad in prison. Sharon Simon told the court and her son they would continue to follow a program set forth by a psychiatrist. It's a very good plan. It will help him with his growth and his development. And you can count on us to stick to that plan to gain your trust and to watch you grow and your development. And Simon himself finished by saying he wants to continue that program as well. I only wish that I just get the help that I need and that I can be a better member of society and further better this country and by any means and just make myself a better person to be out in the system and be out in the public. But in the end, Judge Hedrick did not believe there was enough mitigating evidence to override the presumption of prison, so he sentenced him to prison. Now, after Simon gets out, he'll have to register as someone who's been convicted of an arson for 10 years after that. Jay Warren, not on your side, in the Butler Warren Newsroom.